Hey right, guys, what's going on? This is a PS3 tutorial video for you. This is for your PS3 running a CEX based custom firmware, uh, or if you're running the official firmware 355 on your PS3 or lower, this is the only official firmware that will work on. This is not a jailbreak for 4.46 or any other official firmware that is higher than 355. Or you cannot install this on a DEX based custom firmware. You will have to downgrade to 355 and reinstall custom firmware to CEX based. But this is the new Rebug 4.46 version 1 uh, custom firmware for your PS3. Uh, this is the uh, Rex version of the custom firmware. It's a CEX based, so you can install this on CEX based, and it has support for the Rebug toolbox and I'm going to be showing you how to install this properly today so first thing what you're going to need to do is download the file right here which is rebug underscore 4.46.1 underscore rex underscore ps3 update.pup once you download that from the link below plug in a USB cable or well USB stick to your uh, computer and allow that to come up open the folder and view the files once you do that if you haven't already, create a folder called PS3 in all capital letters. Open that folder up. Inside that folder, you will have an update folder, also all capital letters. Double click on that folder and open it up. And this is where you're going to be putting the update file. I will delete this one just for per se to say that this is a real custom firmware and this will be installed correctly. And just drag and drop that over into that folder and allow it to copy. <coughs> So again, this will only be able to be installed on 355 or lower official firmware, nothing higher than 355. This is not a jailbreak for 4.46 custom firmwares or official firmwares. Um, this can only be installed on a CEX base custom firmware if you're running custom firmware as well as uh, if you're on DEX, this will not work. You'll have to downgrade and go to 355 official firmware. I believe that's the third time I've said this. If anybody has any questions, please leave a comment, but don't go asking if this is a jailbreak for 4.46, because it is not a jailbreak for 4.46. All right, so moving on. After the file has copied, you're going to rename this file as ps3updat.pup and hit enter. So ps3updat.pup if you're running Windows 7 or Windows XP. If you're running Windows 8, it will not show the .pup, but the type file will be the .pup file. All you have to simply write is ps3updat. You do not have to write the .pup, but if you're running Windows 7 or anything lower, you will have to type that in. Once that's copied over, you can unplug your USB, plug it into your PS3, and now it's time to go to the PS3. So I'll meet you there, and we will install this custom firmware. All right, so here we are back at the PS3, and simply all you're going to do is plug your USB stick into the first USB port on your Sony PlayStation, and uh, click System Update and then scroll down to update via storage media and you should see the 4.46.1 rebug RE on the USB device hit OK and it will copy the shit to the system The uh, well after you go and read this license agreement just go to the right hit accept and then hit start and allow it to proceed with the update and it will copy it fairly quickly so, <clears throat> allow that to copy to the system. Now again, I will say, this can be installed on official firmware 355 or lower. Nothing higher than official firmware 355. Also, this can only be installed on a CEX-based custom firmware. If you're on DEX-based custom firmware, you will need to use the downgrader, supported by Rebug, the downgrade to 355 and then upgrade to a CEX based custom firmware if you wish to use this custom firmware but there's a DEX version out as well so you don't need to worry about that also this is not a jailbreak for 4.46 let alone any other official firmware that you're running on unless you're on 355 or lower alright so hit the PS button and it boots up the update and it'll update So yeah. Anyways, there we go. Installing. Do not turn off the system. After the install operation has been completed, the system will automatically restart. Now I had a whole lot of people saying, 
hey, this isn't real. Notice how he pauses it before the update. Well, I do that simply to save time, but for this video, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to watch the water boil, per se, if you're following with my metaphor, to prove to you that I'm actually installing this custom firmware on my unit and that I'm not going to be pausing the video whatsoever just to get the point by. So, I know it's going to be annoying, but I'm going to say it one more time. You can only install this on official firmware 355 or lower. This is not a jailbreak for anything higher than official firmware 355, or you cannot install this on DEX based custom firmware. If you're running DEX based custom firmware, you're going to have to downgrade to 355 other OS or the rebug 999 355.4 downgrader to install this firmware. But you will need to install CEX base first after using the downgrader in order to install this. Also, this is not a jailbreak. This is not a jailbreak for 446. I don't know how many freaking videos I made and how many times people are like, You install this on 4.46 official firmware guy? And I'm like, No. You see this? This is my foot and it's going to hit you in the face. Stop asking me that question. All right. What else can I talk about, seeing that we're only at 32%? Oh, my God. Well, in other news, I guess, um, coming out with a way to downgrade official firmware units. Uh, I've been reading up on the Cobra forums. They're figuring out how to way to uh, hack the uh, PS3 Super Slim. Uh, so that's going to be some kind of feature where it's like overlapping the official firmware, much like what we saw with the PSP official firmware, where it was just like the flash install and then installing the permanent patch when you enable the homebrew environment um, on the PSP with the uh, the ME, the Pro, uh, and the God custom firmwares that you saw on PSP, if you were into the PSP scene at all. Um, but some of that's coming out, and hopefully that'll be the door. Okay, so I got a phone call, sorry about that, but we're back at the PS3, and it's booting up right now, so allow that to boot up, like so, here it is, rebug, and you should be running the 4.4601 rebug REX RE custom firmware. So, first and foremost, um, well, would help if I hit my PS button. Scroll over to your settings and scroll all the way down and you will see the debug settings. The debug settings have been added to this firmware. Most rebug firmwares have it, sometimes they don't, but as you can see this is a lot of settings and I'm not going to go through them all, uh, so you can just pretty much go through that yourself. And uh, come over to the game section. If you haven't done this already, just go to package manager and install package files. And from the PS3 hard disk and you will see the rebug toolbox uh, 2.01.05 I already have it installed so I'm gonna come down here to my tools and I'm gonna load up the rebug toolbox <clears throat> just to show you what's in the toolbox alright so here we go with this so system information I'm running toolbox version 2.01.04 oh I gotta update it then and uh, system firmware 4.46 and uh, CEX base blah blah blah, blah. so um, system mode you can change it from normal or to rebug I'm gonna change it to rebug and you're gonna have to reboot your system so allow that system to reboot it'll just do a cold reboot and I'm just going to show you what rebug mode basically does. For real quick reference, anyway. Oh, here we go. Rebug, custom firmware. Again, nobody cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so now that we're running rebug mode, if you come down here, let me just update my, uh, my rebug here, toolbox. Yes. You know. Install complete. Now that that's updated, I'll come over here and I'll go to my toolbox one more time. And I'll have a deeper, thorough kind of thing with this very soon. Just to let you guys.
get the gist of it, sort of. So, I'm in rebug mode, and now you'll be able to access your CEX or DEX functions. If you're not in rebug mode, you will not be able to access these. So, you can rewrite the target ID and uh, set up your level 2 kernels and things like that. And you can also use the 355 downgrader to install DEX custom firmware. But that's about it. So, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. Check out my uh, website, software-reborn.com. Follow me on Twitter, at DeathRain333. Or check out my Google blog forms on Google Electronics and Software. All the links are on my channel page. And, uh, yeah, so feel free to do all of that. So, thanks again. And also, this is not a jailbreak 4.46 official firmwares. Like I said, a million times in the video. So, take it easy, guys, and I will talk to you ASAP.